Hi, this is Michelle Medlin from Learn Chemie at the University of Colorado Boulder. And as many universities are transitioning over to remote teaching, I just want to give you a quick review of what we have available on our site that can hopefully save you a lot of time as you make that move. This is our homepage that you'll see when you go to learnchemie.com. First thing we have are their screencasts. We have several of these, and if you go to any of these topics, you can see that we have a whole list of different topics and then subtopics within that. And when you go to one of these subtopics, these are the links that will take you to the YouTube video. And back on our page, we also have them sorted by textbook. We have some other links to interactive screencasts and simulation and quiz. Then we go to our interactive simulations. We also have these pulled out by topic. And if we take a look at uh, Thermo, Thermo, we have so many that we pulled that into two pages. We have them listed by topic again. The ones listed in green, you're going to have to download a CDF file and then run that on Wolfram CDF player. But if you look at the ones in blue, you can see that they run directly on your browser. And then you can make whatever changes are available, um, opt for different graphs, and however that goes. In a lot of cases, we have a screencast to show you how to better use these. One of the newer things we have on our website are self-study modules. These are a way to try to learn an entire topic on something. So we have them on ideal gas law, we have entropy, we have material energy balances, thermo separations, fluids and kinetics. So if we take a look at flash separations, I can kind of walk you through one of these real quick. So we tell you what's available in this module, give you the motivation, what class it's available in, what you need to know before you go through this module, and then what you hope to learn. We start off with some concept tests that perhaps the students wouldn't be able to answer just yet, but hopefully they will by the end of this module. The next thing we have are these screencasts, and these screencasts, in this case, also have quizzes built within them, so they will just pop up as you're watching that. And then we have some important equations listed. In the next page, we get to some interactive simulations that you can play around with, and we ask questions beforehand so that you kind of understand what you should be looking for as you do these. And again, we sometimes have the screencast to help you with the simulation. Next one, this one we have a quiz simulation in which you have to input something at every step before it moves on to the next one. So it's just a different way of using a simulation. Then we have example problems where we have listed out the entire problem statement and hopefully the student will go through that before watching the video on that will have the answer in it. Then at the end we have the same concept test again and, and hopefully the students will be able to answer these at this point. On the summary page we have the answers written out, key points for the module, and then we have links back to the beginning and back to the modules. And back to our regular page, what I've shown you so far is available to everyone that comes to learnkimi.com. Then we also have our instructor resources, where we have a concept test inventory and course packages. If you want to have access to this, please contact me at learnkimi at gmail.com and I'll get that taken care of. Once you're signed in, you see the course package inventory where we have it for these three classes. And then we have a concept test inventory for these classes. So if you look at some of these, you'll see it's separated out. Um, and when you click on this, it will download a PowerPoint file for you. You can check out a file preview to see what concept tests are available in those. And that, we have other information on our instructor resources. We have many other things. I hope you find some of this useful. Please Contact me at learnkimmy at gmail.com if you have any questions on any of it. Thanks a lot for listening.